Talk about things that scared us as a kid. I think of like the the thing that the dumbest thing that scared me as a kid that I I and this isn't even a movie, but the original Incredible Hulk show. Mm. Whenever the eyes turned and they played that mute, it wasn't even music. It's just more of a just a, a one note. Tong, I go hide behind the couch. <laughs> I, I couldn't handle the transformation. I don't know why. It was the fucking stupidest thing ever. When he's the oh. Hulk, I was fine. When he was Banner, I was fine. It was the in between thing that just freaked me out. And it's one of those things you look back. I go, why? It's the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing to be scared of. I bet you had a real trouble with the Sailor Moon transformation scenes, didn't you? <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I can't even make a joke on that one because I've never seen Sailor Moon, so I got okay. nothing. <laughs> well, that trust me, that was a very good joke. Um, I'll, I'll, you, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, Yoda, it did bit... you did you get the same scared when you watched She Hulk transform? <laughs> this is pushing? a whole different kind of scary <laughs> with She Hulk. <laughs> It's, it's it's something I think we've kind of that, that that horse is done dead and beaten. I think we need to leave it alone. My my pick would be the uh, the GI Joe movie from eighty six or eighty seven when Cobra Commander gets exposed to the spur spores and this whole body horror. He just mutates through the and it's scary as shit. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Yeah, uh, but that it's, was scary it's legit. Hell. Well done too. It is. Yeah, it's scary as shit. It was too much for kids i think at that time <laughs> ah, Sold a lot of toys, to up. i don't know about that one i don't know about that movie i don't think it did i was uh, traumatized when they killed optimus prime cecil i, was, I gotta tell you yes i, was, I you know what i was I, too yeah i was too. too you know but i it, you know put a little hair on my chest when he that's right <laughs> That's uh, why now, never mind. That's I was what, seventeen. That's, <laughs> what, that's why now Cecil shoots his kid with a BB gun. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, son. Time for target practice. I don't want to do target practice. <laughs> put, you know, so put some hair on your balls, son. Shut up. I don't want hair on my balls. <laughs> Stings. Uh, I got one. I, okay, I was an absolute chicken when I was a child uh seriously like uh my my sister was the one who actually toughened me up she was the one who uh <laughs> not, she got me to watch horror because she was a big horror movie fan so she got me to watch horror movies because she saw that i was a giant chicken and and i i actually i even in one of my i think in the in in one of my videos or whatever i thanked her for you know basically i have the career i have today because of the fact <laughs> that she because she, a woman because a female boy just <laughs> she, yeah i got i got bullied well she was a lot older than me my older oh. sister is much older than me and she bullied I, I, me into watching <laughs> horror movies that makes it even better knowing that she was like 52 and then you were like six and she was well like, she's little... not that old but i mean you know but still oh, well. you know yeah, she yeah. Was, uh, uh, all i know cecil she said my my sister toughened me up and i'm thinking don't go game of thrones don't go game of thrones. <laughs> No. She made, he, he's, he said she made me into a man and we all knew what that uh, yeah. <laughs> TV has ruined Oh, us. wait, wait, wait. Step, certainly step sister, stepsister. Uh, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, stepsister for community guidelines purposes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, to, to kind of go on uh, how big of a chicken I was, uh, there was, I don't, I, I haven't been able to find it but uh, there was a show that I watched when I was really little. It was a, it was either like a variety show or it was something like Hee Haw or whatever. And there were uh, there was a guy in this gigantic oversized like uh, puppet costume, and he he looked like a big quarterback with a really like uh, with a really big mouth. And uh, there was somebody out there like singing a song about football or something. And the guy came over and he opened his mouth and he like ate the woman. <laughs> and it like, you know, and her feet are dangling out of his mouth. And he's just like, <laughs> he's got this like blank expression on his face. And everybody's laughing because it's really dumb. But like, I'm like, but you're Ter horrified. I'm <laughs> horrified. <laughs> I'm like, that monster the just <laughs> ate the woman, you know? So, yeah, that's. I was going to say, all, all, of the, all of the audience are laughing to hide their fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, 
it was it was terrifying. I know exactly and, yeah. what because I've seen like where mascots do that to cheerleaders and like basketball games and stuff mm. like that. They just the costume's so big they just both end up in the costume, but right. you know, played for laughs. But at six years old, you're probably like <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Robert Williams said it's like uh oh, take uh, my son to uh, Disney World. Yeah, six year old taking him to Disney World, Mickey Mouse for a for a six-year-old, Mickey Mouse to a six-year-old is a six-foot fucking rat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'll, little bunny. <laughs> exactly. I was saying the other day, I think on the other stream about how I used to be real. You know, when I was a kid, I was really afraid of clowns and stuff like that. But my uncle John Gacy he really cured me of that. By you know, he, he was very, he was very tender. He was a very tender man that. <laughs> That made sure I had lots of affection, you know, to, to why he wore this makeup and stuff. He was also a painter. You know? he, yeah, he's a very <laughs> talented artist. <laughs> I don't know whatever happened to him. I haven't seen him in years, though. <laughs> he's away on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He went to play with the other clowns. Yeah. <laughs> A weird one for me, but I still think this is actually quite freaky, was um, Superman 3, which is, like, yes. terrible. Yes. But yes. The end. The, the robot? The robot <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he takes that woman in, and it's the bit where he, like, puts this metal on her face, and she closes her eyes, and when she opens them up, they're blank. And I remember yeah. as a kid going, right, this, sorry, this is terrifying. At any moment, <laughs> you could grab me and turn me into a robot. No, 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 not having that. No. <laughs> It's it's such a lighthearted, far almost a farce yeah. of a comedy, yeah. you know, and then they just insert this abject horror just out <laughs> of nowhere into yeah. it. It's just like, oh, what is happening? <laughs> I also remember. Yeah, being that's quite good, that's legit. Well, I was going to say, I yeah. also remember the great computer graphics of when they're trying to shoot Superman down with the rockets, and watching it again now, it's like. Bloody hell! <laughs> you know, it's like there's there's a there's a blue square which is Superman and a grey square which is the missile, and then the grey square turns orange <laughs> when it blows up. And, um... Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or six o'clock UK time. And also remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.